Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Um, today I am doing a card inspired from the Inspire and Create um, blog challenge. Um, they've got a layout challenge this week and I just kind of thought I might try and create something with this um, layout. So I've got a good idea in mind because I was playing with my blends yesterday and this lovely set um, petal palette which I just absolutely love so I know I want to use this image here because when I was playing yesterday like I created this and with the blends um, I just thought it came out really nice and I love the Bermuda Bay so I've already cut some cardstock ahead because I've got a good idea in mind what I want to do so we're probably not going to use that because we're going to probably stamp so what I've got is I've got a thick piece of Whisper White for our base, um, standard card size. And then, oh, let's do it this way. I've got a new bone folder from Stamping Up and it is really good. But if I press too hard, it actually damages the cardstock. So I have to be a bit gentle with it. Um, so I've cut a piece of Bermuda Bay at, let's remember, 10 centimetres by 14.2. Then I've come in a smidge again, and I can't remember what it is. There's my ruler. And it is nine and a half centimetres by 13.7 I think that's coming down in like five centimeter millimeter sorry centimeter millimeter increments and now I've also cut a piece of Bermuda Bay to do my strip which that's uh, 10 uh, centimeters by I don't even know I just kind of randomly cut it about three centimetres, about three centimetres. It was an off cut, so I just thought I'd use that. So what my plan is, I'm going to need another piece of Whisper White. Uh, is... Trim that down. Is I'm going to... Which we'll do this bit first. So I'm going to make sure this is all lined up. And I'm going to use the... Circle framelits. I've got the stitch framelits because I want to possibly make a small border for it. But I'm going to use the circle framelits. And I'm going to go through both pieces to create a hole instead of a layer on top. So let me line this up and then I'm going to just pop it down with a bit of washi tape so it doesn't move. So there's that. Great thing about using washi tape is it does, because it's a low tack, you can peel it off without damaging your cardstock. Well, most of them, I have found some don't. So I'm just gonna pop that there. So now I know that that's fine. And then I'm gonna pop you out there. Now I know this bit on the end is going to fall off but I can reposition that um, when I need to so let me get my big shot in. So it should go through both pieces with absolutely no problem. She says that. There we go, I'm only doing one pass and then I should just be able to pop that bit out, pop that bit out, there we go. So these bits will get stuck down a little bit later so I'm going to hold on to those. And there, take that off. Now, 
the next bit I'm going to do, because I want to use a bit of Bermuda Bay. I am going to do it. A bit of Bermuda Bay. To... Where's my scrap? Create. Circle. So I'm going to do that one. And... I think I'll use one from the stitch framelits. Possibly, possibly not. Oh, might be too small, so it has to be that one. So I'm going to try and position them together once again with a bit of washi tape, just try and keep them in place. Now, if you've got a, magnet, a magnetized um, plate that's fine but I find it still jumps around a little bit so we're not let's see how this comes out right and there we go so we've got like our our frame which is going to go around it too perfect so we'll pop those bits over to the side and we need to keep hold of these bits okay so now I've got lots of little bits cut out what I'm going to do is I've popped this circle framelit back into my wisp white cardstock and I'm actually going to stamp on top so then I can create like an eclipse look um, which is a, a technique of of cutting out and layering. Um, I've seen people do lovely pieces with letters and so on, so we're gonna do something similar. So I'm using Memento Black because I am going to be using my blends to fill in the color. So I'm just gonna line that up. Hope for the best. There we go. Lovely. So I'm not quite finished with this because I want to... Where's some scrap paper? I want to add in a couple more leaves and detail round the side if I can try and get it in without creating too much of a mess. First of all, I think we shall colour this in with our blends. Now, colours I've got here, and this could work for any colour. I was tempted to do it in Blushing Bride, but I absolutely love um, uh, Bermuda Bay. So, um, we're using the light and dark Bermuda Bay. We're using the light and dark um, Old Olive. So, I'm going to start. Now, some people do it slightly different. Um, when it comes to working with these alcohol markers, it's whatever works for you. Now, I found if I put the light on and then the dark, I couldn't blend it as well. So I'm gonna put the dark on first, and then I'm gonna go over it with the light to blend it. And I'm just with the dark, I'm gonna pick out some key features and do some of the kind of the outline.
Now with the lighter, so that I can come in with a bit more dark if I need to. I'm going to try and blend it a bit so it's not so the lines are less harsh. If I feel like I need to come in with some more darker, like I said, I can just I can just add it in. Right, so the same with the flowers. I'm going in dark first, and I'm just going to follow the shading lines of the stamp. So I'm going to use some fast views for this layer. And then I need some dimensional. I'm going to pop this in place first, I think, we're going to have to position one underneath so it's in the right place. So I'm going to stick a couple of dimensionals kind of around to make sure it's got enough stability. Oh, I'm not going to use those scissors for that. I have got some new snips and they are amazing compared to my old ones. But I think because these ones I have um, cut sticky things like double sided tape and things and the dimensionals they're just not as sharp as they were. So I'm now going to keep these for doing that little bits and these for just paper. Right. Now, shall I use glue so I can move it around if I need to? Reaching for the Tombow. The thing about um, the alcohol markers is they are, they go through cardstock, so do be careful with them. Right, we want that there. Let 
we go. Is that all right? Just need to come over a little bit. I think that's good. Um, oh, glue everywhere. Um, Yeah, it's lining these up. I think that's enough to go down on there. Try to make those as straight as I can. Good thing about using glue is you. I've got a little bit of wiggle room if you're not quite in the right place. Um, cloth. There we go. My only problem with glue is I always end up getting it everywhere, so I tend to use fast foods for everything. Right. Oh, let's leak it everywhere. So, now all we need to do is attach this and let's do a sentiment. Um, have I got some scrap white somewhere? I do. So, thank you, best wishes. I just love you. Mm. Congratulations from the heart. Life is so much better with you in it. That's really nice. Very nice, a little bit smudgy because I squidged it. I'll try it again. That's better. Uh, this is an old retired punch, mini banner, banner punch, but um, I find it really useful, so I am not getting rid of it. What I'm doing with the punches you'll be able to do with just a pair of scissors, but I'm going to flag end one end. And then the other end. I'm going to opposite it, so triangle it, like that. Don't 
at, I think, top. I think that will go at the top. But I will quickly just stamp um, that other sentiment that I quite liked. Just try to line it up. Oh, that's all right. So we can have a little play. Which one do we prefer? Go get this one. I like this one. Uh, what am I looking for? Dimensionals. So here we have our finished piece. So I've used the petal palettes. Um, I've used the blends, which I love, um, uh, to create this lovely card. I like the layers. I like the way it's come out. I love the colours. So this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. If you'd like to purchase any of the supplies that I featured today, please head to my blog. Um, or you can find me on the demonstrator website through Stampin' Up. So thanks very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.